Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Coffee is a universally loved drink. Whether it comes in the form of roasted coffee or covered in chocolate or iced or pumpkin latte, any other of the myriad forms that it takes, whether it's for the caffeine rush that it gives you or whether you like that unique aroma, universally people enjoy their coffee and in most cases got to have their coffee every morning. Fewer things are more warming, welcoming, or comforting, especially that odor of coffee is extremely pleasant. It's not surprising then that coffee in all of its forms has made its way into the formula of, in particular, men's fragrance. To help solidify the casual, uh, gourmand, but always rich masculinity we like to see in our fragrances. So when we return, I'm going to show you 10 of my favorite coffee-oriented fragrances for men, that, and more, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today's video is primarily focusing on one of my favorite fragrance notes, and probably one of yours if you're a lover of any kind of rich, dark, and complicated men's fragrance that especially pops up this time of year. By this time of year, I mean fall or autumn, closer to cooler weather. Yes, I'm talking about coffee. And if you're like me, you gotta have your Starbucks double shot to get going in the morning, or your name that flavor of coffee, Folgers, Dunkin' Donuts, whatever your favorite coffee stop in the morning. Used to be that we were all driving to a brick and mortar place to go to work. A lot of us are working from home now, so you can have that coffee in your room, in your studio. Hot or cold though, it's extremely inviting, as are all these fragrances that we're talking about today. My very first fragrance that I'm gonna feature is from Ralph Lauren. You probably already guessed it. Olivier Guillotin created it. It came out in 2017, and that is Polo Red Extreme love this fragrance. I really like the presentation. Nothing better than red and black to go together. The matte finish highlighted by that glossy red Ralph Lauren logo is a really nice touch. The fragrance itself is extremely coffee centric. Besides coffee, Polo Red Extreme features other fragrance notes like ebony and blood orange, which helps lift that nice coffee flavor and makes it into a nice masculine long lasting fragrance. This is a very solid performing fragrance. Now some people say this smells synthetic. I happen to agree, but synthetic is not always bad. This is synthetic in its good form. By that I mean it amps up performance in terms of projection as well as longevity. Polo Red Extreme, definitely a must have for all you coffee lovers out there. I would be remiss if I did not include this as one of my favorite coffee fragrances in the last few years. It came out in 2019. Nicholas Baillieu is the perfumer that created it. It is from Jesus Del Pozo and it is, of course, Halloween Man X. Now this particular coffee note is a roasted coffee note, so it's a very dry formula, but it is extremely lovely, fresh roasted coffee scent. This is like waking up in the morning to a extremely bright, rich coffee going straight for your nose. That rich roasted coffee note is supported by leather, whiskey, cinnamon, just to mention a few of the notes. If you do like dry but very modern urban fragrances, for men, you're going to love Halloween Man X. In my estimation, this is the best in the Halloween Man line. When you smell this, you might be surprised that it's an eau de toilette because it does perform like what you might think an eau de parfum would perform like. And at the price tag, just over 30 bucks, it is well worth owning. Definitely what I think a hidden gem is all about. This next coffee-oriented fragrance I've talked about before on my channel. It is from Robert Graham. It was originally released with a trio of fragrances, and this one is called Valor. Now, the other brother and sister are Fortitude and Courage. This, to me, is the best of the three because it is a coffee-oriented fragrance. Now, this has what's called Brazilian coffee as the note in it, but it also has clary sage. It's got amber in it. It's a very simple profile, but it is extremely rich, and it is an eau de toilette, or what they call blended, but it's very, very well blended. This one here, nice, nice. It makes a room smell amazing. Brazilian coffee is, what that just means is a little bit richer, you know, I was talking about Halloween Man X and that being a roasted coffee. If you like your coffee beans before they're ground and before some of that rich acerbic smell gets in the air, you'll really like Valor. Before I put on my scent of the day, I usually spray it on my hand and smell it and be like, is this the mood that I'm in? This morning I put on Mercedes Club Black 
for men. And I really, really like rich, dark vanilla. I almost included it in this list, but it just doesn't have coffee in it. But it's a very rich fragrance. And then I sprayed on this one and I was like, you know what? This is nothing like this fragrance that I'm gonna show you right here. It is similar, it's not as masculine. There's something more powerful and this one packs a much better punch, believe it or not, than Club Black for men. And that is Salvatore Ferragamo's Womo Signature. This fragrance was launched in 2018 by perfumer Alberto Moria, very well known. Now this one I have talked about numerous times on my channel because I'm in love with it. I absolutely love this fragrance. I can't take my nose out of this. This to me represents the best of a accessible designer gourmand fragrance. It is really close to niche quality. It's very easy to notice that this fragrance is extremely mass appealing. I don't know many people that would smell this and go, that's gross, I don't like that. It's an amazing fragrance. And if you don't own it, I highly recommend getting online. I've got a link in the description you can click on, you can order it for yourself. You will be very happy that you did. Although chances are, if you're watching my channel, you probably already own this. But you may not have been aware that there is a coffee note in this. Now this coffee note is actually in the base of this fragrance. Along with coffee, it's got patchouli, tonka bean, and leather in that base. And that is a wonderful base for this fragrance to rest on. And that's the punch that it's packing. That masculine punch is because of that base and that dry coffee note, that dry, rich, but very gourmand coffee note in Womo Signature. One of my most favorite signature fragrances for fall and winter. In 2005, Frank Vocal created a fragrance for Kenneth Cole, and I'm stretching, I'm using a little bit of creative license. This is not necessarily coffee, but it is espresso, right? Espresso is related to coffee, of course. And of course, I'm talking about Kenneth Cole's wonderful signature. Kenneth Cole's signature is kind of a dark horse. A lot of people associate this fragrance with cooler weather because of its dark, rich, woody scent profile, but there is an espresso note in the mid. In the heart of this is a coffee-like fragrant note that actually buoys the masculinity of this fragrance and makes it so much better than it would be without it. In fact, this is my second bottle of this fragrance, a wonderful, wonderful fragrance released in 2005. It also has other supportive notes in it like amber, there's orris in there, there's a violet, a really nice violet note in there, and oddly enough, Pimento and that espresso note kind of brings them all together and makes them very very nearly gourmand But not quite gourmand. It's extremely masculine Wonderful date night fragrance I herald this as one of the best dark horse date night fragrances out there and it's extremely inexpensive Very very affordable. I should have probably put that in the title of this video These are all super affordable except a couple of them in this list aren't very easy to find and that kind of kicked out the whole cheap, easy to find fragrances. This one, however, happens to fit that bill. So Kenneth Cole signature. Now the fragrance I'm referring to that is kind of hard to find is also what I consider being discontinued. If it's not discontinued now, then it will be discontinued in the very near future. And that is Terry Mugler's Pure Tonka. Now I'm using creative license on this as well because it is a cappuccino note. This is an extremely gourmand, deep, dark, rich, complex, coffee-oriented fragrance. Lavender, rosemary, and vanilla are also helping Pure Tonka along in its gourmand trail as you walk around wearing this wonderful fragrance. Extremely getting harder and harder to find, but it is one of the best gourmand, coffee-centric fragrances on the market. And of course you can't use the term coffee and the name Terry Mugler in the same sentence without pulling up the iconic fragrance that is super well known, and that is Angel for Men by Terry Mugler. Yes, there is a coffee note in this fragrance. Each time that I wear it is remarkable to me just how good that this is and how accessible that it is. It's not super expensive, and that's why they make refills for this bottle for that very reason. Of course, this fragrance was created and released in 1996. Jacques Houclier is who created it. It has coffee in the base along with other supportive notes like caramel, uh, honey, amber, vanilla, and there's even peppermint in here. So that bracing, cool feeling that you get when you spray this on and it starts drying down, that's actually the peppermint. You'll notice just like cream goes in coffee in terms of the liquid that we drink. In terms of fragrance, there's the particular notes that seem to go with coffee are tonka bean. Tonka bean is always there. Either vanilla or sandalwood or a combination of the two. Peppermint is really a nice addition, kind of a good holiday feel. And to sweeten it up, you've got that caramel and that honey. Definitely got a chocolate vibe to it. 
As if you can't tell by now, I am a fan of Terry Mugler because Terry Mugler is a fan of coffee. Obviously, because he's got coffee in so many of his fragrances and including this one. This is Ice Men by Terry Mugler. What some consider a summertime fragrance, and yes, you can wear this fragrance all you want in summertime, but I also think it happens to be a really nice fall weather fragrance because of the notes in it. Now this is this is coffee in its iced form. You've got sandalwood, you've got musk, you've got nutmeg, patchouli, and of course a really iced, a really nice iced coffee note that runs clear through the middle of this fragrance. This is primarily a patchouli centric fragrance with a little bit of coffee on the side and that's why I really really like it and that's why I think it works very well in fall weather as well. Woody, glacial, extreme, virile, polar, all those adjectives used to describe ice men are appropriate. You spray this on is really really nice. Primarily you're going to get that patchouli that lasts into your day. This is a good 10-12 hour fragrance with a very long lasting patchouli that Iced coffee note though doesn't last necessarily all day, but it's a nice beginning. It's a nice fresh it every time you spray this on and wear it. It reminds you of why you really like Terry Mugler so much, why Terry Mugler liked coffee so much. Now you'll probably be surprised that I haven't mentioned Rojas Man. Rojas Man is a very affordable, uh, AKA accessible coffee fragrance for men. I think there's a better fragrance out there and that is Nikos for Men. Nikos for Men is a discontinued fragrance. However, I absolutely love, I've used quite a bit already this, this fall and this autumn. This fragrance is a lot longer lasting. It is a lot more realistic of a coffee fragrance and less synthetic than Rojas Man. So if you are able to find Nikos for Men, a highly recommended, wonderful, lovely coffee fragrance. And again, that trifecta of vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, uh, with additional jasmine in this, making it very masculine with an edge, just a hint of floral sensibility, but primarily coffee centric. Still out there at certain resellers on eBay. Nikos for Men. Now the last fragrance I'm gonna feature, I don't actually own any longer, but I do wanna mention it because I did enjoy, and I was actually kind of surprised to find that it had coffee in it, but I really enjoy it. It is a Valentino Womo, Valentino Womo. Now this is Valentino Womo Intense. It actually does not have a coffee note in it. It is a darker bottle. You can tell the difference between the two. The, the original Valentino Womo has the lighter bottle, but it is the exact same presentation. Valentino Intense is a very rich, very nice violet slash leather fragrance. Running through the middle of Valentino Uomo, however, is a coffee note that is very rich and very enjoyable in Valentino Uomo, and really, to me, the best reason to own it. So I actually do have a second bottle on its way coming from fragranceby.ca, but I didn't want to wait until that came before featuring this video. I actually want you to have a chance to order it for yourself, highly recommend, extremely enjoyable. Probably what I would term a subtle fragrance. It doesn't have the performance that some of these bangers do that are richer, deeper, and a little bit more complex than Valentino Uomo, but still very worthy of this coffee-centric list. Well guys, those are my 10 Cup of Joe or Java Jive coffee-related fragrances that I wanted to share with you for fall autumn and going into winter. If you have any of these fragrances, please let me know what your experience with them is like. If you feel like some I didn't mention need to be on this list, like Replica's Coffee Break, there's a ton out there. Let me know what you think if you feel like some should have been included or you enjoy better than say some of these. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.